Hello you guys and welcome back to the Dofi channel. Today I have a new mini purchase haul supporting the whole business, the whole entity. So I gotta say that I got him a mini juicy tube that he may have somewhere. Yeah, I do have it. And while he goes and gets it, he fell in love with the product. Now you guys know I like balms, I like lip balms, but I don't like anything like super, super balmy. Actually, I've never tried a juicy tube, to be quite honest with you guys, but Damel fell in love with this, so I'm I guessing did. that this is the reason why. Can I see that one? I fell in love with everything from the color. I don't like packaging as much as I love You the bought products. the full size of this one, then. Yes, I love it. He likes the Marshmallow Electro, and he loved it so much that he actually went ahead and got it at Nordstrom. He got the Marshmallow Electro full size. This is the size, the size. This is the number number five. This is what the full size looks like. This is what the travel site or so on a gift cute. looks like. Now you can tell a little bit that there's a difference in color. This is more like light pink, whereas this one is more like beachy pink. And I For think the light pink comes because it's been open and oxygenated. If mm -hmm. you look at it, the formula looks more bubbly on one than other. Mm -hmm. And I think that's normal because obviously I'm pressing and juicing and you know, doing my thing. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is very popular back in the day too. So let me go ahead and uh, show you the next one. I have that one that is a very good light pink. And then we have Dreamsicle, which is number three. Looks like this, a very nourishing, very like for anybody that is looking to have a really natural gloss. Mm -hmm. But what's the difference for you though, Mel? So my thing is, I like a juicy lip. Something that looks like you just wanna chomp and munch anyone's lip when you see them. Sorry, I'm a little dramatic, but girl, not sorry living through it so i do love like anastasia beverly hills jeffree star cosmetics there's so many brands that i really really enjoy that are juicy and delicious and divine this is a sorry to interrupt you really quickly this is stickle pink it's to me is more of a berry and you can tell that they're a little similar uh packaging wise they definitely did an effort to kind of match the color but go ahead Damel. but long story short um like the lip gloss from MAC is another iconic one. And this gives me like all of that in one. This is it's called Framboise Pop. Sorry, I'm actually gonna try this one. I, it's very cute, very cute. Uh -huh. And I love that the pigment on them is gentle and soft and you can really control. It's very how, heavy. You know what? It's a little sticky at the beginning, but when it dries, baby. Like, let me tell you something, this product it, it made me fall in love with it. It was one of the products where I was like, okay, it's a gloss. All right, it's a little sticky. I don't know if I like this, but every single time I wear it, I'm living my life. So I decided to invest in it and it's not really it, sticky it, it, anymore. It's not sticky at all, no. It's different. And you can build it to, to how many layers of juice you want to do. How so, many? So I'm very excited. I've done max three. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and this is with applications, and my lips just are right. on it. Next up, I have Forever Couture Luminizer. This is in the shade number three. This is an intense highlighting powder, long wear, and comfort. I gotta say that I actually have been using it in the morning. I apply it. It might not be as an intense, but it's definitely there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably can see the amount in the back. But uh, this is the way it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, compare it to the Mel has here. A few comparables. Again, this is a Forever Couture Luminizer. Uh, I hope I'm not butchering it. It's number three. It's called Pearlescent Glow. Packaging is really pretty. I gotta say that I'm very impressed with packaging. Uh, this is more of a really texture that of a something like a clothing type of thing. And it's different. I've never actually had anything from Dior. So I'm very happy that the mill purchased this luxurious. This looks sure the protector, sorry. This looks serious um Compassion. highlighter. Can you can you remove that out of that? It looks like you can. Lately we've been getting into getting more of our since we have plenty uh of the products, we've been putting them in here. Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is in the snowflake, this is called loose highlighter. And this is the wiper lesson one. Which then, is the latest one that I used on my cheekbones in yeah. my last video where I was looking like the nastiest of them all. Yeah. Next up, I you, you gotta watch these videos. They are pretty amazing. Next up, I have How Many Carrots? And this is on Diamond Bomb by Fenty Beauty. Packaging is very iconic as always. 
and it does look very pearlescent. It's look they actually look very similar to each That's other. That's what I was thinking when I was at sh in shop. I was like, oh, I don't okay. know. Swatch them up, girl. Real good, just like you should. So Fenty Beauty is definitely more of a velvet tot type of touch. This is the way it looks Oof. like. Looks good, honey. It looks very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it first. Very gentle. Can I do two it swatches? It almost looks a little bit gray. It's like a white gray. Now we're gonna go ahead and do Anastasia Beverly Hills on loose highlighter snowflake. On that one, be careful when you open it because it does go loose in there. And there's nothing in here. She's waiting for us. There she is, honey. She's dropped. She's okay, so there's a few on. here. I hope that even though it's a, a loose one, I have plenty to do a swatch. So this is the way it looks like. This was 20. Now this is the Anastasia. Be right next to that one. It'll be the second one. This is definitely more powdery. This one is very, very velvety even when I touch it again. Like, yeah. it's super velvety. Looks juicy and wet. Fenty Beauty, yeah, but this one is looks Try a little... Try blending the Anastasia, because I really like the Anastasia one, too. I, I hope that she makes more of, like, maybe a newer formula of that, the, like, loose highlighter. Yeah. Honestly, really cute. So I'm going to try another swatch going into Anastasia Beverly Hills. She does Still, look a little chakarina. Yeah, she's very dry. It could potentially be because of the formula. It's old. You know, we That's it's true. not fresh. Fenty Beauty has been one of the very new ones. If I can get some wipes, please. Of course. Um, Tell I just, me right now. Pretty please. Um, I feel like for me, if you know, when you open a product like Fenty Beauty that we recently opened it, it's not it's not been too long. And I think that that's the reason why it's so also velvety and it's feeling really, really good. Yeah, I just in, in this particular highlight, I think that's one of the most recent ones we've purchased. It doesn't feel heavy. No, ah, just... and I love it. I mean, you can, it I, is very nourished. I would use more honey. No, no, I'm okay. Like you should, for the girls and the girls and the girlies and the boys, in the boys. So I'm um, gonna wait on to the kimchi shake. Just go. She turned me off, honey. Sorry. I am just gonna go ahead and remove it so you guys can see that I'm not using the same fingers. And just, I feel like for me, you were talking about something that I don't remember what, what it was. What? But for me, I feel like that's maybe that could potentially be it. That Anastasia is a little bit old. Okay, fingers are pretty much clean. I now have highlighter everywhere in my hand. But that's not, it, it will not make any difference, by the way. Just to give you a heads up. It's the perks of the job. Kimchi Chic. This is on the, sh this is a beautiful heart, by the way. But it's all plastic. So we will be also analyzing kind of like the packaging. This one is okay. It's a little bit difficult to kind of uh, have a, that control over the product. Yeah. Fenty Beauty so far for me has been winning. So I'm excited to, sh to swatch Pearl Gold Wild. And it's this beautiful, of course, like uh, iridescent. It has a little bit of red here, I'm guessing, because it's normal mix with uh, the blush between. Probably. So we're gonna try to see if there's another. Um... Maybe like a brush, just use a brush. We're just gonna go ahead and remove it okay. with that. She's going in, baby. Okay, so I literally just cleanse it a little bit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab right here around the corner. You can tell that my finger is definitely cleaning. And this looks more violet and iridescent here. So I'm excited yeah. to see how Fenty Beauty, Anastasia, and now Kimchi looks. Oh, this is definitely iridescent. Whereas this one is more of a silver, white, and iridescent. Yeah. And this one actually, depending on what type of light you touch. So if you go more for cool tone lights, it's going to look a little bit more silvery blue. But if you go with warmer lights, it goes a little bit more on the pinkier rose gold side, which is really, really cool. I really like that formula. Yeah, I've never tried it, so I'm excited to try them. Next up, I have Dior. Again, the the this is Dior Forever Couture Luminizer. This is in the shade number three. M majority of her highlighters uh, were pretty amazing. Yeah. So the one we saw. Yeah, but I think this is a specialty formula, though. When I was swatching the other ones, this one was the most velvety of the other ones. The other ones felt a little bit more metallic. Now, me. I've tried them all so far right now in this video. Gotta say that this is not velvety enough to get even close to the Fenty Beauty. So I'm excited Do to Do it right next to Fenty. How does that look? 
is very, very pearl, pearlescent. Doesn't have any hues of uh, silver or purple violet. It definitely, try swatching another one of the Fenty on top of the Fenty, just to see if they build up to similar colors. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one for another Fenty. We're here in the Sorry, this is how we go here, honey. This is like, this, this is, is like the real. See. Honestly, I enjoy this a lot. Product development. This video should bullshit. be named the difference between white highlighters. Okay, so are we, are we ready? So this is definitely velvety creamy. Like yeah. I really like that one. Is this one right here, right? Yeah, the middle one. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch it up. And she's there. It almost feels like now that I'm seeing it in front, like Fenty's gonna give you a wet vibe. Dior is gonna give you a very beautiful alienist highlight. Anastasia, she needs a little bit of work, honey. No, um, she works so well. I, like, literally, that was in my last video where I did, like, my... Oh, that's face. right. Your highlight was really yeah. good. Yeah, it just... It, I don't know why it feels dry. That's why I'm, like, disappointed that you're saying that. But it just works so beautifully. Kimchi. Kimchi. Kimchi is unicorn frappuccino. Okay, so let's start with kimchi. You can <laughs> tell right there. It does look very unicorn frappuccino. Next, then we have Anastasia Pacioroni. So Anastasia is actually, the color of it, it's actually really good and I like it. Yeah. It's a little bit gold and it does has a different vibe from the wet from Fenty Beauty. But I must feel like Fenty Beauty gives you a wet, wet vibe where mm -hmm. Anastasia almost looks like wet, but also dewy. Like it's not that type of wet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like that one too, but I don't know. I like them all. They are all so different in so many ways, yeah, yeah, yeah. yet they are the same thing. I think the one that's the closest one to a true white is going to be Anastasia, though. Yeah. And then I feel like Dior is a mixture between Fenty and Anastasia. That could be. That's but right. On you, but on you, though, she's reading kimchi, honey. Is it like a she, blue hue. Is she? I wonder if that's... Is she, though? I just, yes. I wonder if it's a reflection of your blush, and that's going to really make blush. a difference. You don't have blush? I don't have blush. Well, maybe it's not the blush, then, because you don't have blush. But you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Gravat. I just got to correct it. I'm going to grab a little bit of the R. I'm going to swatch it up right here. Right here, right now. Is it even grabbing? It is. I'm looking at it, placing it. And then tomorrow, when I see the video, it'll be like... It was like, boom. It was dimming everything. It was laying up baby's lot. Oh, yes, honey. Mama, we can see you from Who here. Who is she? With this bling, 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 baby. Okay. I remember this is one of the first things that I fell in love when it comes to makeup on me. Yeah. Because I felt so comfortable wearing just highlighter. Really? That was my favorite, too. Highlighters are definitely the vibe. Now we're going to go ahead and do it the middle. Because you sparkle, honey. You're sparkling. It has a, a, a very unique scent. Is it fragranced or is it like product? I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe just the product, but it smells really good. Right? And it smells fresh. Mm -hmm. It definitely has a little bit of fragrance. It smells like their skincare. Yeah. But it's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I do got to say that I really like it. So I'm happy that we, you purchased it. We Very have it now. Cute. Thank yeah. you. You are welcome. Next up. And final, I have two blushes, which is pretty surprising. I hope that we don't have one. I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and show you guys really quickly. We bought the Lancome Blush Teal. This is on the shade Absolute Happy. And this is a beautiful coral shade. I really think that this is going to be... Slightly a little bit different. We're going to figure out how to remove the uh, actual color out of the packaging. Just be because i rather have them on C palettes. Lamel mm -hmm. literally just tried it today and he, like, his nail is right Oh, it here. looks a little bit of watermelon there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. So I does cannot it, wait. Does it look like any of the ones that you have? No. No, I know what I have and I don't. I didn't make that one. Mm. Yeah, I don't have that I'm one. excited. Yeah. Very pretty for sure. Very, very spring. Very this is my blush palette. Very that girl. Yeah, so this will be similar to that, but it's a little bit more even pinky. So I don't have that one, but I'm happy that I have, now I have it. You know what I'm saying? Can I see the palette, please? Yeah. Again, this will be my second purchase that you've ever purchased for me for Dior. So this is Dior Backstage, Backstage Rosy Glow Number 1 in pink. And... 
I'm excited because this was iconic for so many for so many months because uh, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist promoted it, and so I'm excited to see how this one looks. Voila. Oh, you took it out? Don't go me. Yeah. Guess what, guys? So he literally just popped it up. I don't know how did you do it. I, you know what? I just ran lucky. That uh, that um, that glue wasn't as strong. You can tell me. Yeah, thank you. And here's a compact. Empty compact. Who is she? Let me see. I wish it would be magnetic. That would be so cool. Isn't okay. Chanel doing that? I think so. I'm not sure. You know I what? We need to dive into the Chanel world for in a couple of minutes. Okay. I'm going to show really quickly the blush from Dior. And I'm going to pair it right next to... We have one similar of the Beauty Creations, remember? Can you bring that one in? Do you know where the Kylie one is? It should be here. You look for the other one and I look for the Kylie one. Here, on screen. Up in this house. What you guys don't know is that literally my phone just told me, Hurry up, you don't have too much space. I'm like, oh my gosh. These are the ones that we have for um, that are similar. Okay, this one here. Okay, so I have Beauty Creations. I don't have Kylie because Kylie is more nude pink on this version that we purchased recently for the mill. I like the reason why I really like this is this uh, more of a watermelon one, too. We have a lot of watermelons. Like this reminds me to the one we recently purchased from Lancome, but Lancome is more nude. Like this one? Yeah, yeah. this one looks almost like more peachy. Yeah. This is more cooler tone. Yeah. So this version for Miss Beauty Creations. Let me see. What the hell happened here? What happened, Amel? Was this me? Did I scratch that? Probably. Uh, of course. So this is the, uh, I think this one looks very similar to that. What do you think, Amel? This one looks a little bit cooler and more vibrant for yeah, sure. Yeah, very neat. Recently pur purchased from Miss Kylie Jenner. This is very similar. It just looks more lavender, right? Yeah. Doesn't that look a little lavender? Yeah. And that's very cute. Yeah. I just don't have anything like that. Mm -mm. Start using the Dior oh, one. She's gonna go in Dior, honey. It's gonna go alongside with that highlighter because since it's like whiter, right? Well, the good thing about these types of tones is that you really can, can you see that? Can you see the actual blush? Let me see. Yeah, it's I, like you have to build it. Yeah, because that's the thing about I feel like these types of blushes, they're there to euthanize you. They're there to give you a little extra bit of like, mm, you know, because you're looking a little pinker in some areas, <laughs> a little bit what brighter. It's very subtle, and I really, really like it. Um, I know this was definitely $60, I I'm think this was. I'm going to use now. Uh -huh. Definitely a price point, but um, just really interesting. Definitely. I don't know what... That's the... reading more mauve. Yeah. I expected it to be a little bit more softer on the skin. I know I always end up... I always end up um, on these videos with any type of makeup. Like, I either end up with blush or highlight or mascara. What do you feel like it's your favorite makeup product? Like, your two top favorite makeup products. Oops. Or three. Let's do three. Three top makeup favorite products. Like, for example. For what? Me are definitely brows, lips, like glosses are definitely like a one, two, three, go. And, um... Brows, lip gloss, and definitely has to be lashes. I need lashes. Mm -hmm. Like, period. Right. Right? You said five. I said three. Oh, okay, sorry. It would be then blush, lashes, and lipsticks. So, like, false lashes? Mascara. Oh. That's what it would be. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's one missing here, Where's and I don't one? know which one it is. Oh, right here. I was like looking for this one. Where is she? I know. Don't you hate when they're like literally in front of us? Vibing with you. Oh my god, this is. Beauty, I don't know what Beauty Creations is doing, but it's definitely giving you full size pigment. Hey, what do you think about that pigment, Demon? Yeah, she's coming through. She's building in, honey. I only went once with this one. 
Whereas the Dior one, I had to go several times to build the pigment. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, one thing that I've noticed using blush is that some of them may give you the pigment, but may not stay the whole day. So you would have to retouch them. Whereas some blushes that are quality, like Dior or Lancome that I have used, they literally say, may, you may have to build it, but the formula when you're building it is to grab that, like that color strength and make it last longer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That plays into it for sure. And I think it's important to know that not all blushes are the same. For example, just because you have a blush doesn't mean that it's going to give you the effect that you're seeing. For example, maybe you want a sunrise blush where you go within a little bit of a yellow, a little bit of a... a little I've bit never of seen color. a yellow blush. Yeah, I mean, it's coming back. I think it's coming back. It used to not be like as popular, but it's coming back. So what do you, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Is it coming back or what? I'm going to apply a bomb. Literally. Okay. She's going, she's, she went on the choo choo train, honey. Where is this palette? Oh, here she is. I'm like, where are you, girl? So let's see. What, what color is it turning into now? Let me see. Let me see. It looks almost like. Like your like skin, like natural. Really? Yeah. I feel like the potty one kind of like killed the vibe of all of them. Yeah. Like it more it neutralized them because of its peach or orange. And so wonder peach and orange take out like purpley tones, right? Yeah, that's true. Like purpley blue. Well, that's I guess we color can... theory. We didn't plan that out properly. And she's I... gonna go back with more. I'm gonna use and showgirl. Oof. Yas. Come through. What do you think this color is gonna be now? Well, it's definitely gonna she's gonna shine, honey. She's gonna shine. What well, I, I didn't anticipate the I was not gonna have a mirror. Oops. That's very cute packaging. The Christian it is, isn't it? It, it looks very, like, sleek. And no, it does look like more like... Let me see. I got sunburn, a suntan. <laughs> I got some... Um, how do you call that? <laughs> I have uh, sunscreen on top of it. Like, you're just living your life. Ooh, girl. Hmm. <gasps> Did you just scratch that highlighter? <laughs> Excuse She's... me. Was that a deep scratch or what's good? Let me see. It's all fun and games until we're destroying the brand Oof. new Christian. D no, 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 no. Switch over to some bullshit, girl. Oof. <laughs> right here, right now. Damn, girl, that looks like a shooting star now. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Is it a shooting star though? You guys, you guys be the judges. Is it a shooting star? That's literally this scratch right here. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up with this blush. What do you guys think? It looks cute. But I mean, what about? Mm hmm. And that's how you do it, girls. Literally, like six blushes. Uh, and what? It <laughs> looks so natural, though. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. bye.